Hello everyone, welcome to a new series with Voxel Tycoon. Now, a, a week or so ago, the early access on Steam was uh, released, and that came with some updates and some changes, and incompatibility with the previous uh, pre-alpha on itch. So I can't load the previous game, and I kind of wanted to do that just for kicks, but I can understand why given the changes. Now, uh, I'm going to uh, start a new game here, and I'm going to do no mods, though it's kind of funny that the base game is a mod. I'm going to try very big region size, just uh, for more space, because I'm going for a uh, population and uh, transport this time, more so than uh, getting to the windscreen. And I'm starting with semaphores only, and we're going to, not going to allow train turning around, so no flipping, as I understand it. I'm going to call the company LWE Inc. Uh, I'm going to use dollars. I'm going to use American city names because I have a hope of being able to pronounce those. We got a tutorial turned off because that's not really helpful here. And we're going to use Flibotnum as the world seed. Okay, so uh, we're going to start the game here, and we'll see how long it takes to render. So we're exploring the world, and we'll see what happens. And, uh, yeah, it can take a minute or two for this to uh, go through. Um, I have had a little bit of trouble getting this game to start. It has frozen twice now. Once at exploring the world, and once just after the game started. I'm starting to wonder if maybe that's related to the screen capture, but it shouldn't be. No other game has issues with it. No, okay, we got started. Okay. So, so far so good. Uh, we're in the Sun Valley region. Let's uh, pause the game and we'll uh, close that. Now, let us see if we can actually get anywhere here. Uh, so, in the, the region, we have iron demand in Sun Valley. We have queens demanding uh, wood. We have crosset demanding coal. Um, and we have iron over here. And down here, we have San Marino demanding wood and coal. Right. Um, and we have wood over here, and we have, where's the coal? There's the coal. Okay, so if the coal is there, okay, so I think our, uh, our uh, startup point is to uh, deliver coal to cross it. Yeah, so let's see if the game stays unfrozen here as we uh, mess around with things. So we're going to start with uh, bringing a road out to our coal here. Yep. Okay, we have a road. Yep. And we are going to need a coal mine. Uh, we're going to chuck um, uh, three of them in here. Okay, one, two, why three? Because it'll keep up better. And we're going to uh, chuck in a, uh, a warehouse, say right about here, okay? And that's going to store coal. That's just a buffer from these guys. Now... We're going to want a uh, freight station, and we're going to use my previous uh, scheme where I uh, put the, uh, make sure that the outbound tra traffic comes on the uh, side of the station, and we'll put a garage behind it. That gives a turnaround and slightly more holding space for trucks. Now we go down here. And we need to uh, install a truck station here. Uh, so uh, we could stick a freight station right here. 
I think we might just do that. Yeah, we'll stick it right there. Uh, I do kind of like that it will auto bulldoze houses when you place a station now. Uh, that's new. Um, right, okay. Now we can go in here and we can buy a truck that carries coal. Uh, so we're going to do coal, buy. Now we'll add a stop. And this is one of the things that's changed. So now we've got more options, including waypoints, uh, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, so we're going to do a load there. And we're going to do a full unload. No, no, no. Add stop. Yep. Yeah. Unload. Yep. And it's going to be a full unload and a full load. Right. And we're going to save that as a line. Yep. Good. Now I'm going to put, I'm going to put four trucks on here. Why four? Just because. Uh, it just seems like a thing to do. Now we'll release those, close all of that, and we'll start the uh, time running. And yeah, now we can come over here and we see uh, trucks are filling up. Yep, there we go. Trucks are indeed filling up. Now, I'm going to go in here on the logistics tab which is a uh, new thing, right? And we're going to not allow um, uh, collecting from the mines directly. We're going to collect only from the warehouse. Uh, the logistics thing is new. Uh, it allows you to control where the stations connect and things like that. Uh, like here, you can also uh, control where the warehouse gets its stuff from. Uh, it, and uh, even here, where it sends its stuff to. So you can see this is off, right? So, yeah. That's a new thing with the, uh, the early access, which is kind of cool. Now, we're going to come on down here. And we're going to observe the trucks when they first arrive. Now, the first thing they're going to do is come down here all the way to the end, turn around and come back. That's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's a little bit slower, but it's okay. Eventually, the town will turn this into a grid and uh, things will be better. Uh, then there won't be uh, trucks turning around. Uh, but our heating plant has given us $1,300 for a load of coal. And it has given us another $1,300 for a load of coal. And another $1,300 for a load of coal. Oh, and get this. This will be another $1,300 for a load of coal. Okay, so that will tick along for a little bit. Now, where's our other coal demand? It's way over, it's way over here, isn't it? Yeah. So that's going to be quite a long haul to build a road, but I kind of do want to do that. Let's uh, clear that. Yeah. Now, I think perhaps we might want to establish a uh, wood operation because we have two demands for that. Um, well, let's, uh, let's just uh, consider that here. Uh, we'll bring a road out to here, right? And we'll bring a road out to here. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm doing the roads like this, it's to keep them on the natural town grid. Um, because, so then when the towns expand, we don't get a bunch of dead end roads. No, no, we need to, uh, we need to do this so that the roads can actually connect. Right, okay. 
So we do this and this. Okay, so those roads connect. So we can get wood into there. We also need to get wood down to here. Um, how do we... Well, we could do it that way, or we could do it this way. Yeah, I think we'll do it that way. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll do it that way. Um, that also gets us a connection for coal, just about. I could... Right. Okay. We'll just get uh we'll get the lumber stuff going here. Uh okay, so that's under here. We're gonna go under mines uh for a for sawmills. Yeah, so we're going to put three of these again. Yep. Okay. And we're going to put a warehouse when we have enough money. Let's max out the loan. Okay, so now we've got a warehouse which will take wood. Uh, right. And then we need to go back in here. We will build a uh, gear. No, we're going to build a station. Right. Uh, and we can compactify this like this. Now, if we put it here. Yeah, we'll put it here. And then we'll put one of these here. Yep. And then we'll put a road. Yep. Now, we can go in here and we'll go back in our logistics. And we'll turn these off. Okay, now that's loading. So we'll go over here and we will establish a freight station right here. Bam. So we're going to deliver wood to Queens. Okay, so we'll go in here. We will buy. Uh, it's going to be this thing, right? Yeah, it's going to be that thing. So we're going to buy it. Yeah. And we're going to add a stop here. And one in Queens. Oh, that's going to be load. Add a stop here. Unload. Yeah. Those are going to be full. Yeah. Okay. We'll save it as a line. Good. And we'll duplicate it. Can we duplicate it? No, no, no. Can we duplicate it one more time? No, we don't have 29K. Um, okay. If we do this, do we have enough money coming in? I can get a fourth truck on here. Uh, that's a question. Uh, 27, 28, 29. No. Okay, we're going to need another set of deliveries to arrive, and then... Come on. Then we get this, uh, this delivery going. There we go. Now we can have the four that I want. Release the ninjas. Right. No, it's not releasing ninjas. Okay, now I'm going to run this on uh, max tempo for a moment here. Uh, but we're going to get uh, a few dollars for this delivery. Ten seventy-five. So uh, that's going to uh, that's going to be um, uh, delivering stuff there. Um, right. So that's wood and that's uh, coal that we've uh, started to exploit. Uh, now we need cash before we can do much of anything else. And as you can see, we uh, ended up with a little bit of negative going on here. Now, uh, building this, uh, where do we want to 
uh, settle. Well, let's um, let's look here. We've got this is a mixed type, which means supply and demand. Okay. Uh, okay. That one's maybe fine. Um, right. Well, I think maybe we'll uh, build this over in and we don't have enough money to build it there or there um, because we have to to bulldoze something to build it yeah so uh, I guess maybe we can uh, uh, we can do that why, why am I looking here? Because it'll add 10% to the payments on the coal, which will be a little bit more beneficial than adding it on the wood. So that's kind of why I'm going for that, right? Uh, it's not, uh, not particularly uh, uh, strategic, really, or beneficial in the long run where I put it, but it's you know kind of worth doing putting it somewhere, right? Uh, and we are actually turning a profit, so uh, there is that. Uh, we're bring we're turning a profit of uh, uh, looks like fourteen k or so uh, monthly. So that's uh, that's not too bad. That's two truck lines running, and we're doing fourteen k. Uh, and that's after we built a whole bunch of uh, roads and stuff. So we burned through our initial loan. Now that is something that is uh, uh, common to these types of games. You end up spending a lot of time, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, moving the, uh, uh, you're just waiting for the, the money to come in, right? Now we are spending 10K on interest. But at the moment, having the loan is uh, doing us more good than not having it, right? Because uh, we have to build our uh, our stuff somehow, right? Uh, so yeah, so we we need to get our uh, our building uh, stuff out somehow. Um, right. So I was going to build this here. I need forty six eight hundred. Um, right. There we go. We have built it. Um, okay. So now we're getting 1450 on our uh, coal deliveries instead. Now that is an expensive build, but, uh, having it in there is, uh, is going to be net beneficial, I think. So, oh, now we're negative. Uh, we just need to get out of negative before I think it's three months goes by and we'll be uh, on, we won't be, uh, uh, whoops, no, no, um, click there. Uh, we're, and we won't end up getting bankrupted out, right? And we are making a net profit here, so we will get positive. So, yeah, see, we just uh, ticked positive, right? Uh, so I'm thinking we'll probably be making about 18k here, uh, something like that. Uh, yeah, probably thereabout. Uh, once we get some uh, some cash uh, together uh, and we get the uh, initial, uh, okay, San Marino is uh, going to shut its coal. Uh, demand at some point. We can't do anything about that at the moment. We just can't supply it effectively, right? Now, if we were playing on normal size regions, the cash would be going up faster because uh, it would take less time for the trucks to get from the deposit to the town on average. Oh, we're getting 1600 per delivery. Okay, so that's pretty good. Well, that's 29K now for that, that month. So it's going to be 19K for 20K for, for April uh, once the uh, loan interest comes off. So that's, uh, that's quite a bit... Uh, Quite a bit more uh, more cash as a result of that, uh, as as the uh, you know putting the uh, headquarters there, right? 
uh so we made 28k yeah so so that's uh that's pretty good uh 28k in a uh uh in a single uh month uh on our f uh, fourth month of uh gameplay that's not too bad um now uh, at some point i'm going to need to get a lab in uh and we'll need to get uh get some other stuff going uh, I think, however, let's uh, check in on our industry here. No, that's the town. Uh, our industry, our heating plant. Now, we're delivering far less than it can take. Uh, so I think we might be well employed to deploy some extra um, uh, trucks there. Yeah, I think deploying another truck on that line will uh, will continue to improve things. Uh, I think six trucks might be too many, but five, I think, might be okay. We need four hundred and fifteen people in Cross It to get the uh, the uh, uh, next level on there, uh, but. Uh, uh, you know, uh, just supplying the demand is going to uh, to improve the population, right? So, uh, yeah, we've got, uh, we're 25k up, just about 25k up now. That will get us, uh, well, it will get us to the point where we can start potentially paying off the loan while we wait. So, I'm going to kind of do that. Uh, is uh, it'll it saves us two hundred and fifty, uh, two hundred fifty dollars, and on a net, uh, you know, income of, uh, you know, uh, whatever it was, uh, that's uh, still actually real cash, right? Uh, you know, that's uh, an eighth of the or a sixth of the uh, deliveries, each of these deliveries, right? So. You know, that's uh, that's non-trivial money, right? So even with a 25k uh, uh, repayment, we had a 4k and, and a 27k vehicle, we we would have had, we were only 21k down, 22k down. So yeah, we got some, some good income here. Um... Right. Let's. Uh, that's just the demand decrease, right? Yeah. Okay. Now we're supplying the coal to the point where it's uh, uh, dropping off. Okay. Uh, so four trucks was probably optimal, but five trucks will do. Oh yeah, because we got. Uh, uh, it's uh, filling up the storage, right? Right, because it's well supplied, so as as a result, um, yeah, that's fine. But if the uh, demand thing can increase, uh, if the town can, can grow, it needs another 100 people or so, uh, 110 people or so, if, if, you know, if it can grow uh, the population up, uh, then we can get to the point where the coal the heating plant is demanding even more coal and then it'll go back up to the uh, the base price right because it'll be using it faster and there will be uh, it, it won't be digging stuff out of the storage right but I suppose if it stays at this level that's fine yeah really that's fine okay so uh i think what the th the thing to do is to just take a look at uh the possible future plans so ultimately i'm going to want to connect these two up um right uh because uh, uh we'll want to get coal to other places um uh, we're going to have to wait for new uh, places to pop up for uh, demands. And that's fine. Uh, 
Yeah. We just don't have the resources to uh, to deliver any more stuff here. So uh, we just might as well uh, not panic about things going out of business. Now, the future plan is uh, uh, we'll be probably exploiting the iron uh, and uh, finding someone who's still demanding it uh, when the time comes. Uh, you know, you don't need to worry though. These demands will, uh, these businesses, new ones will open. Uh, uh, you know, when these go bankrupt, new ones will appear eventually. And when they do, the uh, the uh, demand will be back, right? It may not be the same one, but it'll appear. And we'll have options. So I think... I probably want to bring this road down this way. But we got the water in the way there. Um, could bring this road down. Yeah, I could. Um, or I could bring this one down uh, to here. Out of curiosity, what would that cost? If I were to bring this one... Uh, down to here. That would cost 100k. Well, that's not bad, but it would get me a fully connected uh, road network at least. Um, 100k. Well, if we re-borrow the loan, we can actually build that one. Okay. Yeah. And we can bring this one out to here. Good. Now we have a properly connected road network. Now, if I were to uh, do this, and if I were to take uh, one of the, one of the, if I were to take two of these guys, I think, Send to garage here, and you uh, send to garage here. Okay. Okay. If I take three or two of them off that line, I can possibly uh, get get the coal delivery down here. Um. Will it be in time? Probably not. Uh, but, yeah, we don't have 52k. Um, yeah. I could. I could just put, I don't have 22k either. Um, this guy... 138 days left. Okay. Uh, we're going to grab this guy. And he needs 62k there. Um, yeah. We need enough cash to build this. 22,245. As soon as we have that, I think we can get a line up. Okay, we just need it to get up to 22. There we go. Bam. Uh, good. Now we can slow this back down. Uh, we can go back up here, right? Um, now, uh, here we're going to uh, do an individual route. We're going to add this stop with a load. 
and we're going to go down here and add this stop uh, with a uh, unload, right? And they'll be full. And we'll save that. And then we'll change this to here, right? And then we will go back up to the thing, right? Here. And we will release the ninjas. Right. Now, we'll close that. We'll close that. Now, if we speed things up here, um, we have trucks coming and hopefully that will be enough to uh, get things rolling. Okay. We don't have enough cash to uh, bail the business out, but we have delivered some, uh, some coal there. Um, yeah. Now, the question is whether that is enough to, uh, to uh, stave off uh, trouble. We do need at least one more vehicle on that line, probably three more. Um, but we're not going to get there um, without uh, more cash, right? So, you know, that is what it is. Uh, where is the... Yeah. Okay. It's still complaining. So what do we need to deliver to prevent it from going out? Where's the... Oh. Yeah. We have 80 days left. We might need to... Uh, to... Uh, do the um, uh, do the do this here uh, now is this enough to prevent it from going under that's the uh, that's the question I may need to buy that uh, to buy the you know to bribe it not to go under um, yeah okay so we got 69 days left um, I'm gonna go up here and okay so if we go down here I slow that down and I buy another one of wait what duplicate it uh, release it good that may help uh, that might spread out the deliveries enough to uh, why is that minus 10? Fifty seven days left. Uh, Fifty six. Well, we're going to go over here 
and as soon as we can we're going to buy another we're going to duplicate another one onto there um yeah uh we're going to duplicate another one i think we have time that we can do that uh last 30 days deliver 25. Um, yeah, hopefully we're getting to the point where we can, okay, slow that down, no, uh, duplicate that guy, release that, ni no, release the ninja, right, okay. And then we can speed that up again. Question is, why hasn't it... Uh, why hasn't it... Uh, Why it hasn't uh, recovered, I don't know. 30 days left. Ah, it's saved. Okay, we're good. Now, uh, we've got four going there, and we've got three going up here. How's this doing? Yeah, I think it's probably doing fine. Uh, okay. So now we've got two coal uh, places that are, um, are operating. So uh, that means San Marino will uh, grow. Uh, and Queens will grow with the delivery of wood. In cross, it's going to grow with the delivery of coal here. And we can just uh, tick along for a bit and accumulate some cash before we try to uh, deliver anything anywhere else. And it looks like we can easily bring iron ore online when the time comes, now that we've uh, basically uh, arranged for uh, a road network right um yeah right so we got 28k total coming in uh yeah uh we probably want to add one more vehicle back on this line uh we're going to duplicate uh, uh, we're going to duplicate not enough money okay now we can okay release that ninja okay now we've got four back on that line uh, I think that will uh, probably uh, get everything uh, to the point where we got we'll get get the income back up a bit because uh, we started with four on that one right uh, and that uh, yeah okay so the wood business shut down in San Marino this is expected uh, right. Um, <clears throat> right. Okay, yeah, so even with a new vehicle, we're going to have a profitable year. Uh, 
it. Yeah. So uh, one thing I'll note just before I close the episode uh, is uh, is that uh, with inflation in the game, uh, it means that uh, over time, uh, the amount of the loan tends to vanish uh, in real terms because, uh, you know, the, the interest payment is 1%, right? And uh, if you're, uh, all of your uh, income stuff uh, and everything, income, uh, you know, like as inflation increases the magnitude of everything else, the total amount of the debt servicing just gets smaller in comparison to the whole. And that, uh, that does uh, pretty much mean that uh, uh, carrying a loan is not going to be a long-term detriment to everything, right? But it's still useful to pay it off so that, uh, you know, when it's there when you... Uh, so you don't end up spending it all and then it's there... Uh, whatever and plus at this point in time we could save 10k monthly our uh, total uh, money goes up way faster right so like on this year $250 more is more than 10% increase in uh, net income right uh, so that's that's why paying it down at this point is probably worth doing right See, Cross is now accepting iron. Uh, where? There. Okay. Uh, no. Here. Uh, right, okay. Well, anyway. Uh, I'm going to uh, put the cut here. And uh, next time around, I'll probably have wound time forward a little bit. Uh, just so that we have a little bit more uh, cash to play with and we'll look at connecting up the rest of the demands that have popped up in this in the opening region uh, and then uh, having done that uh, we'll uh, get the uh, cash rolling and we'll probably get some research started uh, just so we can start building factories and and uh, so on and be able to exploit the other three base resources and so on anyway uh, that's going to be all for this time, so stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. I mean, there might be something resembling a light at the end of something resembling a tunnel, uh, though it is somewhat unclear if you listen to all the reports on things. Uh, right. And also, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Apparently, it helps some things, uh, like maybe you get notifications of videos or something, uh, apparently. Uh, I've never seen any particular uh, um, effect from it, but, uh, you know, well, actually, I lie. Uh, subscriptions seem to work, but, you know, like apparently this, this whole like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell thing, apparently it might be beneficial. So give it a whirl if you think it, it, you might be one of the people that benefits from it. So, yay. Uh, and I guess see you back next time.